Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're actually going to be doing a demo and review of the Wild Badger uh, Edger. So in this video, I'll just kind of walk you through the setup of this and then we'll do a little demo of the Edger. So first off, um, assembly is pretty straightforward. Basically, you're just attaching this rod that's here. Um, you have these um, bolts that go through. These basically spin on, so very easily taken off. And then you have these plastic pieces that hold the main wire to your uh, pull up here. And then you attach the main handlebars. I do recommend making sure you attach this rod first um, through the actual poles before you tighten down here. Otherwise, you won't be able to get this main rod in. Um, here's your kill switch once this is actually powered up. And then this actually is the trigger for the blade. As you can see, you have a large blade that's right here for the edging. And then you have five settings for this. So you can basically go, this is the highest setting all the way to the lowest. Um, it does not come with oil shipped. So what you have to do is actually remove this cap right here. Um, this has an oil dipstick on it. You'll basically just fill this with oil. And then um, you fill this with gas. You can see it has a small gas tank underneath. Um, this actually has a filter, so you can remove this and clean the filter as needed, but essentially it gives you the directions here. You want to move the choke uh, to the start position, so right now you can see it's in run, it's running. You pull it to start, and then you um, hit the bulb seven times. Now, this wasn't super obvious to me, even looking at the manual, but the bulb is actually right down here. You'll see the two lines for the oil and the gas, and basically you'll hit the bulb right where my finger is down here about seven times, and you'll see all the oil and, and everything come through the system. And then you'll pull the starter cord about three to five times until you hear ignition, move it to run, and then you're gonna pull it again, and then that's where you're gonna get it to start. So now you can see it's running. Um, I haven't actually tested this yet, so this will be my first time test. You can see I'm just kind of looking up the side of my driveway here. And if we pull on this, the blade spins so let's kind of give it a go so it was a pretty deep edge cut there um, good little demo just to give you an idea of what it's like using it I'll actually power this down I'm not going to do the whole thing now but this would really allow me to create like a nice edge off the driveway here um, again, you could do this anywhere, you know, um, we have like a walkway up in the front here of our house. So it'd really be nice to kind of just get a nice clean edge, clean this all up. And uh, ultimately, um, you know, have everything look a little nicer here on your property. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely a nice little simple device. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And um, yeah, I do highly recommend it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.